So let's welcome to the stage. They are Matt and Alejandro's one man show to become one. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is Alejandro Garcia. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Needles. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna do a show for you. In order to do that, I'd like to get a suggestion of a, a word that you remember from childhood. Anyone at all? Pony. I heard pony. Thank you. We're going to do a show, and I need a word of your favorite Crayola when you were in middle school. Fleshy. Fleshy? <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Let's do it. And the lights come up. It's OK. We're in Brazil. Everything's going to be great. <laughs> There's so many murderous animals here. Come on, it's only like a couple hundred. I don't know what ate the back half of that goat. <laughs> it could have been a fish. It could have been anything. All I know is he enjoyed it. It was definitely icky. Listen, listen, Mark, we're in Brazil. It's the World Cup. Come on, let's get crazy. No, we're going to get really crazy. But we're going to party in Brazil. They've got meats on sticks. <laughs> you think that's where it went? Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna turn into a delicious thing on a steak we'll eat later. I like cabrito. That's Mexican, but that's yeah, close. It's the same general cultural idea. Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's hard. Okay. Come on, you gotta stop doing that. <laughs> We're in Brazil! You gotta stop doing that! You did that about enchiladas too! <sighs> okay, fine. Yes. Enchiladas are great. You're doing it again. I'm sorry. I'm you just, make me pronounce it like that, and then you fuck with me. You talk normal. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm having a great time. I want you to have a great time. Come on, dude. We are in Brazil. We're in Brazil. We're in Brazil. We're in Brazil. The company's paying for all of this. Yeah, the suckers, <laughs> idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you. I bet you Wilson's like. Ah, uh, Wilson didn't come to the land of ass. He's a sucker. Be <laughs> that home. With his stupid wife. Yeah, probably <laughs> making kids or getting a mortgage. What a fuck up. <laughs> mortgage. What does that even mean? <laughs> what a ding dong. Man, I didn't know the Amazon was so big. I didn't know that life could be so big. I didn't know that my search, my quest to start a family, be a good man, provide. <clears throat> give up so many things that I thought define me. I want, no, let me start again. I want, no. All right, asshole, get in the canoe. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> do we really have to do it we're in the water? Yes, we're in the freaking water. Just I, uh, I heard there was a river monster here. There's all kinds of river monsters here! Do you ever watch that show? I've never seen it. There's so many! He's got four seasons and it's all Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fish that swims up your dick. There's always a fish that swims up your There's dick. There's at least one kind! There might be several. We don't know because the ocean's big and the rivers feed into it. <laughs> Yes, that's how tributaries work. <laughs> <laughs> and estuaries. <laughs> Don't even get me started on estuaries. I'm sorry, you just brought up brackish waters. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just, just stop. I'm trying to run my cat. Do you, do, um, do you see? What, what's up? I'm just trying to connect. Whoa! Hey, hey. We're finding river monsters for fame and glory. Stop crying. Couldn't we just, I don't know, couldn't we just go back to the hotel and get a beer? Sorry, cerveza, cerveza. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Always going to be a dick about it. Oh, of course I am. I'm just saying, there's fish in here as big as this canoe. That's the thrill of it. <laughs> the thrill? Yes, you catch a giant river monster, and then you put it on a stick, and then you eat it. We put it on a stick to tow this canoe downriver. Well, then we'll find some adventures downriver. In an estuary? Uh, a tributary! Fuck! 
Listen, I hear there's a kick-ass village down the river. You find a river monster, you catch it, they grill it for you on a stick. You just heard there's a kick-ass village down the river? He's like, yeah. From who? Some guy. He just said that? Yeah. He's like, it's a kick-ass village down the river? I believed him. But like, there's pinatas everywhere? Or Dude, just... again. <laughs> That's fun. That's good, wholesome fun. <sighs> anyway, the guy had a hat. <laughs> okay? Alright. Trust me now. Okay. <laughs> is, it, is it a cool hat? It was pretty cool. It had like green feathers. I think it was a macaw. Oh. That is cool. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm, can I just say, I'm glad. I'm glad they, they put us on this inside. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, I really appreciate you uh, helping me out with the cultural issues. <laughs> yeah, you're a little insensitive in that area. I'm sorry, I'm from Pittsburgh. I've never been south of Cleveland. <laughs> uh, that's that. <laughs> I like it cold. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is, once we get to this town, just let me do the talking, okay? All right. I don't want you to say something inappropriate. Inappropriate like what? What would I say? I don't know. Like a pinata? Shh. <laughs> That means something different in Brazil. What does it mean? <laughs> what could it possibly mean? Whoa! <laughs> Get in, I can't see it out loud. There might be ch native children around. <laughs> in the river? They <laughs> live in the river! They live in the river and we're going to their river village? Yes! The guy in the hat said it was awesome! Just listen to me. That sounds like Gungans. Just Gungans? <laughs> It's Star Wars! Yeah, okay, I get to correct you every once in a while. Fine. The Star Gungans Wars. were from the prequels of Star Wars. And they saved the Empire. No, they didn't do anything useful. <laughs> I just I just I just want an adventure, you know? I'm stuck in Pittsburgh doing fucking insurance papers. They have this opportunity to go to South America, of course I'm going to take it. Am I thrilled to be going with him? No, not this much. I mean, he's kind of a nerd. And he's, his cultural sensibility is very low. I don't know. I guess it's a Pittsburgh thing. I don't know. I just I want a party in Brazil. You got girls with big booties. They got salsa. No, not salsa. Samba dancing. That's what it's called. And it's the World Cup, even though we're floating down the river. We're gonna have a great time, no matter what. Wilson, I need to talk to you about something. Uh, uh, that's me, a good old Wilson. Thanks, man. <laughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? You have a coffee maker in your office? Haha, <laughs> they don't give me the big bucks. <laughs> No, they, they don't. They don't. That's why I bring my own coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, buddy. Um, just need to square something away with you there for a minute. Um, you put in a vacation request? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we're actually in the middle of some expansion. There's oh. A, basically, Tim and Craig are going to be uh, out remote for six to seven months on site. In oh, the Timster. Yeah. T Tipster and Craigster, they're my guys. Yeah, Tim, Tim Weber and, and Craig Stevens. Yeah! The guys down the, you work with them. Yeah, they always give me a hard time, but I know they mean well. <coughs> right, okay. Um, Would you like a cup of coffee? I got my own coffee. <laughs> you know I will have that cup. Awesome, I'll awesome. I'll offer it a long time. Uh, basically, though, <laughs> I know you've been planning this Disney World trip for a while. And, <laughs> I'm taking the family to Disney World. They love Pluto. Mm, you're not. <laughs> you're not. We can't spare the hours. What? Come on, I've been planning for years. We've just got to go to Pluto. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wilson, but things are tight right now. No one's going to lay a pipe in South America unless we do it. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer it black, actually. <laughs> Is that a K cup? It's my own invention. Huh. Does it take K cups? 
<laughs> could. But it wouldn't taste as good. It's the same coffee. Eh, debatable. No, it's the same coffee. It comes prepackaged in a cup. <coughs> sorry, I'm, I'm quibbling. I'm quibbling. I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is... Thank you. And I'm sorry. And, you know, your kid will be ten for another couple of years, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I can always have more kids. Yeah, yeah, you can have more kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Hey, there's thinking on the bright side. That's the Wilson I hired. I'm thinking on the bright side. So these guys just showed up at our village. <laughs> Did they bring any beer? No. They brought a giant fish. Oh. Want to smoke out of it? That's not an edible fish. Yeah, you want to smoke out of it? <laughs> yeah. You can make a, make a pipe in the skull. Well, go they ahead. just dropped the, sh the fish here and left? They, well, they're looking at the cabins. <laughs> oh, the white guys. Yeah, the white guys. <laughs> <laughs> Should've known. Should've, should've stood out. I, I mean, it's just like... What do they expect? Looks like they're making gestures at Kristen's butt. <laughs> Maybe that. It is hypnotic. It's a nice butt, but come on. They're it's rude. It's very rude. To it's do. not going to happen. Like right behind you, too. It's very impolite. It's not, come on. Savages come in from the north and act like they own the place. I swear to God, Mateo. No, I swear to God. I swear to God. They just come in their rafts and claim property. They came in a raft and claimed property? Yes. Seriously? They said, oh, we're staying here. My great-grandfather told me a story once about how that happened, and it fucked everything up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That village upstream. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Hilton now. I know. I saw it. God. I was trying to go hunting, and I was like, what the fuck is this? A parking lot? No. We are a proud Hyatt people down here. God we will not that. come in contact with the Hiltons. I just wanted a regency. All I wanted was a regency. Regency, a way to rule. The will of one dominating the country. To control it. But that's what I want. What I want above all is control. That's my kingship. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure there's fish that just. Go right up your dick hole in that water. <laughs> Just get in the water. Uh, 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 How many uh uh's was that? Seven. It's a lot. <laughs> Listen, just get in the water. It's not even that deep. Yes, it doesn't it's, need to be that deep. It's not dick deep. <laughs> I am shorter than you, and my dick is longer than yours. <laughs> This is just cut. No, that's just being smart. It's not TMI. It's just being smart. It's knowing the details. I wouldn't. Your dick is not gonna touch the water. It might. It's not big like. It might. I'm sure. No, I need to Dude, this is water that does not reach your dick. Just get in the water with me. Have some fun. Oh, hold on. Could be some kind of piranhas in there. Just step down. One foot. That's cold. Just one foot at a time. One. <laughs> Ow, my dick is touching. It's cold. <laughs> Damn it. You said you wanted to have fun. I'm trying so hard to have fun without being eaten by anything. There's nothing in the water. Look, clear, beautiful. River water. That's not what river monsters taught me. The places where you can't see the fish are where they're hiding the most. <laughs> Listen, I want to have fun. Please get in the river water. The, the girls from the village are going to come and they're going to see you acting like this and it's going to be boring. It's gonna be boring. If you're yeah, acting, they're gonna see this and think I'm boring. You're super boring. <laughs> that's, what's boring about being safe? <laughs> that's like the, well, that's like the definition. 
definition of boring. There's nothing boring about being safe. It's just good common sense. No, if you look in the dictionary and you look up boring, it says being safe. What? I said Since it. Since when? Since today. No. Yes. No. Maybe. Have we been using it wrong this whole time? All the time. Uh, what the fuck? Bad. That's what I said. I feel very unboring right now. Well, that's a start. No, I was trying to be clever. I feel unsafe. I don't get it. I was right. That's what matters to me. What matters to me is... I just... I just don't want to be boring. Listen. No, we're, we're back in Pittsburgh. You dipped your toe in Amazonian river water. I did touch the Amazon. You uh. got to stare at a butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good vacation. I mean, yeah, pretty for, good for your standards, I'd say it's the best vacation of your life. It's a good six months. I mean, really, come on. Out there. You touch river water with my dick. Who can say that in Pittsburgh? <laughs> well, actually, I mean, there's the three rivers. <laughs> I guess the frozen one. Exactly. God, this place really sucks. <coughs> you know who doesn't suck? Who? Steelers. <laughs> uh, what? What? It just feels good to be back home. It does it. It feels good to be back home. <laughs> uh, you're not gonna have one of those towels and wave it around. Are you? <laughs> no, we're in a library. Of course not. <laughs> Thank but maybe later in a game, sure. <laughs> Fine. You don't like rallying with a rally towel? I don't. <laughs> you just rally, man. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. rally, but it's... No, you rally when things are getting wild. That's how you rally it up. Why can't I just whoop? You, you whoop while you rally. I just want to whoop. No, it's exactly the same. You do the whooping action like you're in Arsenio Hall's audience, but you're holding the towel, so you're rallying. <laughs> I see the, point. The, the point is that the team sees it, and they hear it, and it inspires them. I doubt that they can hear it. They can totally hear it. It's a giant outdoor stadium. Yeah, but they If we're all doing it, they're going to play better. I'd rather, I'd rather just whoop. It works, I'm telling you. We're in a library. <laughs> sorry. I just prefer whooping. There's still whooping involved. There's no non-whooping. I, I just like my whoops to not have a towel attached to them. It's, it's just an extra bit of visual flair. It flashes white. Everyone can see it. It looks really good when the whole stadium's doing it. And then if you're sweaty, which most Pittsburgh fans are, just dab it off. Just dab it off. It's multi-purpose. I just, I'm, just, I'm just frightened for the epileptic kids. Epileptic kids? Yes! You think, epileptic, you think wearing a white towel around is going to give someone a seizure? Yes? No. Yes, totally. I saw it on the Discovery Channel. Yes. What are you looking up? I'm looking up seizures. It's not going to save the terrible towel causes seizures. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well then, let's just make sure. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Dictionary. <laughs> a terrible towel causes seizures, mm -hmm. or does not cause seizures. Mm -hmm. Read it again. Make sure you get the second definition too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you win this one. Can, Word. Can we just go, go penguins? Yep. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>